I've spent the last week trying to perfect the recipe, if you will, for epoxy lava. Um, this one I think came out pretty well. I, I've seen some other epoxy lava projects, but I don't really like the way a lot of them look. Um, it's just because typically they're using like one shade of orange or orange and yellow. I'm using just a basic mica powder that's it's not sparkly or metallic. I'm not really a fan of that metallic look, um, at least for you know making rivers or in this case lava. Um, anyways, I think I've got it down enough to go ahead and pour the body. So I don't really like how this first pour came out and I think the reason it looks so much different than my test is because it was a thicker pour, um, like a third of an inch probably. So it was a little bit difficult to control the uh, flow of the black resin. I'm going to go ahead and do another lava pour on top of this one and just try and make sure that I nail this one. So this will be the last lava pour before I throw in a couple layers of clear resin. All the resin pours are done. Uh, I poured some orange epoxy in this void on top. It looks a bit like some dry rot, um, so I'm hoping that it doesn't go down very deep. We'll see. Next up is to get this thing popped out of the mold and planed down to the right thickness. Alright, I got this thing planed down a bit, uh, and so now I can take a look at the wood, and there does appear to be some rot going on. Um, right here, that area where it's a bit gray and it kind of loses the grain definition is definitely some rot. Um, same with over here, there's a bit. I'm not stoked on that. Um, I'm going to have to see if I can shape the body down, kind of like a Les Paul or a PRS with the body contours, and see if I can get into some better parts of the wood.
So the uh, the rot, as you can see, is it's just gonna have to be a part of this guitar. I tried shaping it down to see if I could get past the rot, and it did in a lot of areas, but it's still got a few bad spots showing. Uh, I filled some of the spots with sawdust and epoxy resin, which you can kind of see. Uh, the rest of the areas, I'm just gonna fill in with a clear coat, uh, which I'm gonna apply pretty heavily. Yeah, I mean, you can kind of see, it's the same deal on the back here. Doesn't look great, but at this point, I just gotta roll with it. So this thing turned out looking really good. Uh, I like the way the lava looks, especially up against some backlighting. I think this guitar is kind of made to hang on a wall with a backlight mounted behind it. That kind of makes it look like the lava's glowing or something. Uh, the Chechen looks awesome, and the neck is a roasted maple with some pretty good grain going on. And the, uh, the roasted look fits the guitar well, so I'm happy with that. Um, and I'm, I'm pleased overall with how the guitar came out. The, the dry rot was kind of a pain to deal with, and it's it's definitely noticeable in some areas, um, but there just wasn't a whole lot I could do about it, um, so I can't really dwell on that. A couple of things to note, uh, if you were thinking the neck looks really long, almost like a base, uh, it, it, the neck is long, it's not a base, uh, but the neck is longer than normal. I built this as a baritone guitar, so it's a 30 inch scale opposed to uh, 25 or 26 inch scale length, which is pretty standard for most electric guitars. I know baritone guitars are used a lot for country, and this is definitely more of a, a metal kind of vibe going on here. Um, it's also just got one bridge pickup, so I could kind of show more of the lava. Uh, so it's just kind of a funky guitar in terms of what style it is, but I, I really don't care. Uh, I just wanted to change things up a bit and make a, a different style guitar, so. Here it is. Uh, being that it is baritone, the fret spacing is a lot wider, so it's it's taking some adjustment to play it comfortably. Uh, it's the first baritone I've played, but I will give the demo a shot here in a second. I want to mention real quick that I started a website. It's burlsart.com, where I've posted most of my projects on. Uh, there's no guitars for sale as of now. I don't know when the next guitar I'll, I'll be selling will be, uh, but I do have links to the hardware and a lot of uh, the electronics I use in my builds, along with some additional information on the guitars. So if you're interested in checking that out, um, the link is in the description. All the links to the products I use are affiliate links, so clicking on them will help support the channel and fund future projects. As always, you guys can follow my work on Instagram at Burlsart. I get a lot of questions about the Yamaha amp that I use for my demos, and if you'd like to learn more about it, I do have a link to it under the My Gear page on my website. Mm -hmm.